And right, it's time for our nutrition segment, and with us is Neka Ogboy. Um, she will be talking about baby food options. She is the founder CEO of the fast growing 100% organic baby food, MASH. The company makes fresh and healthy African meals and snacks for infants and toddlers. You are welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Great, uh, let's get right into it. I remember um, having a discussion earlier with you uh, where I told you about my first and my second born. So um, there were a few options that my first, food options, yeah, that my baby, my first baby, you know, just, you know, loved. Mm -hmm. And then I used the same um, recipe for my second. And she was a bit resistant to it, right? Um, at what age do we start to introduce baby food to our babies? All right, excellent question there. Um, it's six months. I know some people start earlier. Some well, for my start first, later. I started five months. Yeah. Then my second, four months. Yes. So usually four to six months, but it's recommended to start at six months. That's when they need it. Okay. And these foods need to be safe and adequate. So safe meaning, obviously, you prepare them safely, they're clean. Mm. Mm. But adequate meaning they have the right kinds of nutrition Nutrients. that they need. Mm. So you're talking about your second not really accepting what your first absolutely mm -hmm. loves. And this is the fun part about kids. Every child is different. Even twins are different, right? So what works for one might not work, work for the, the other. other. So it's our duty as parents to kind of discover what their food language is. Mm. And what is it that you like? Do you like sweet? Do you like savory? Do you like crunchy? Do you like puree? Some babies like to chew, right? Um, something I get all the time from parents is, my baby doesn't want to eat cereals. They want to eat what we're eating, mm. right? And mm. for some reason, as a people, we've come to accept that there's this special baby food. Mm. Whereas baby food is really just real food prepared specially for the, for the babies, baby, yeah. right? So um, people are trying to, you know, have cereal, have cereal. And if a child doesn't want cereal, it's okay. So apart from cereal, right? Um, because I remember um, um, I've had a few moms, new moms, even reach out to me mm -hmm. asking um, that, you know, uh, they've heard me several times mention a few baby of food options that I had for my kids and, you know, how to use them. Mm -hmm. So there's usually that challenge of what to first introduce their babies to, which is a challenge. So you want to tell us, you know, how to, you know, walk them through the process mm -hmm. of introducing the baby foods to those, to the babies. Excellent. Very good question. Because a lot of times we focus on the breastfeeding. Yeah. And after six months, you're on your own. Figure mm -hmm. it out. Figure right? it out. So yeah. Of parents are confused at that time. Mm. Um, what is very important to know is that what is recommended actually by World Health Organization is that you introduce family foods, right, in textures that your baby would easily absorb, digest, and chew, right? So you want to do the staples that are in your house because eventually that child is going to grow and join the rest of the family. So okay. it's okay to do things like your rice, mm. your beans, plantains, include your chicken, meats. Chicken, legumes. meats? Yes. How definitely. do you do that? Do you blend it or you just give it to them? You that... can blend it. Again, okay. it depends on your baby's preference, right? But you can blend it so it's easy for them to chew. True. But some babies like to chew on it like mm. that. So you yeah. cut it into little pieces. You know, them. there's that meat that when babies eat meat, mm. it helps their, their teeth to grow faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, from there, every myth has like some, some um, um, source of truth to it. Yeah. I think usually when they're teething, um, it helps them to itch, scratch. The scratch your, yeah. So yeah. maybe that's where that All right, came so from. let's get right into this options, these yeah. food options. Yeah. Uh, what would you recommend? Um, I, would like to rec I would like to talk about things that are, you know, we don't think about very often. Mm. So like I just mentioned, your family foods. That would be the first and my favorite, actually, because mm. it makes it easier for the entire family. So, you know, when you say family foods, for some families, the staple is rice. It's an everyday staple, mm. right? Mm. Some families do not know that they need to incorporate other um, um, and other um, classes of foods mm. into their diets. Mm, yeah. So um, we need to be quite specific. Yes, yeah, so when I'm talking about family foods, I'm talking about the typical Nigerian staples you have at home. There's no reason why your child cannot enjoy a one bowl of Niger jollof. They, they can enjoy mm -hmm. that, right? Okay. But you make it specially for them, so mm -hmm. you don't put things like salt, seasoning mm -hmm. cubes mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. them, right? Mm -hmm. Also, you want to load it up with vegetables mm -hmm. so that they get the key nutrients from that. And also meats, because they get... Um, that's a very good source of iron, organ meats specifically, so like liver is also very good. Okay. You can make that for them, puree it all together, and they can enjoy that. Mm. So that's one option that people usually don't really think about, mm. right? The mm. family foods, very good option. Okay. Another option would be things like snacks, 
right? Mm, snacks, snacks can actually be, what we consider snacks, can actually be a meal for these kids. Okay, give um, us a few. For example, things. there's something we share on our page all the time. It's, we call it cookies and cream. But it's oat cookies and the cream is actually, it looks like ice cream, but it's bananas and mangoes made with your baby's milk. So if it's breast milk or if they're older, oh, regular So you milk. blend the oats yes. and the bananas? Um, no, we blend the oats with peanut butter and Ooh. it makes a cookie. Yeah. yeah, so it's actually like cookies and ice cream, uh. but it's the same ingredients as a, you know, a healthy bowl of oats that you have in the morning. Yeah, I know someone listening right now is, you know, um, how do you know that you are not giving your child too much sugar very good question kids under the age of two do not need any added sugars um again as a society i don't know why we're obsessed with sweet things packing them with yeah, sugar sugars, and sugars. Mm -hmm. these are kids that are coming from breast milk if mm. you taste breast milk you know it's not that sweet right oh i haven't <laughs> <laughs> so they don't need any of that and actually for their health it's, it's actually not good for mm, their health so mm. before the age of two they don't need any added sugars mm. you can use things like your fruits your bananas your pineapples your pap papaya those are the places that they get the sugars that their body needs, needs. with nutrients attached to them because mm. they're growing so they do need those key nutrients all right so now let's address a few meats mm. right because there's so many of them right one is um agbo we need to let people know, so you're, you're the expert here. So what would you advise in that regard? Um, because a lot of mothers give their kids that so, <laughs> to help them control their sugar intake. So, yeah. um, I think it's, it's just much better not to give them the sugar in the first place. Okay. Um, with Agbo, have you tested it in a lab? Mm. Have you seen what's in there? Is it safe for your child whose immune system is, you know, trying to find its foot? Right. right. So you want to be careful with things that you're not sure about. Mm. As an adult, we can take those things and we can stomach it, right? But mm. can your child take, take that, them, right? So All it's right. very important. Thank you so much, Neka. This has been quite an insightful conversation. I'm hoping that um, someone listening right now has learned so much. And if you're not a mother, this might be something useful you could, you know, share with your families, friends, and neighbors. They'll definitely need it. We have to go on a quick break now, people. Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit. Stay with us.